Hello, my name is John Sansini. I'm an artist, painter. These are my paintings here, Francisco and Raul. Byron here to my left. I paint my sitters from life. And today, I'm visiting the museum uh, to talk about my work and the work of the great Hungarian artist who's exhibiting now, Francis de Erdely. I was introduced to Mr. de Erdely's work through curator Rochelle Steiner. And when Rochelle first introduced me to images of this artist's work, she asked if there were any similarities that I could instantly see, and there were. And the similarity that struck the most for me was that I could see that he also painted from life as I do. However, anyone could look at my work and say, John was not classically trained. And anyone could look at Francis's work and say, he was classically trained. And therein lies the huge difference. And it has a lot to do with space, intent, and outcome. So let's go into the gallery and take a look at Mr. Deirdre's work. We're in the California Gallery, which is the central downstairs gallery of Laguna Art Museum. And this houses the current exhibition of Francis Deirdre's paintings. The drawings are on the second floor gallery. I was just saying that what I found interesting about Deirdre and myself is that we do have a point to contact. And the point of contact is that we both paint from life. However, there are a lot of differences within that one zone. When one looks at my paintings of Francisco and Raul and Byron that we were just looking at, one can easily say, this artist was not classically trained. When one looks at the portraits of De Erdely, one can easily see this artist was classically trained. And what about that is so significant? And I think it has to do with the space that each of us are working with. There's a little something that I wanted to read here very briefly that probably says more on the subject in a more direct way. These are titles for paintings from a recent catalog of my own exhibition in titles of paintings from the recent exhibition here of Francis de Erdely. When I turn to the checklist in my catalog, just to read a few, the titles were as follows. Francisco, Gabriel and Francisco, Guillermo, Enrique, Jose, Raul. When I looked in the checklist of the de Erdely catalog, thus, Woman with Vase, News Seller, Untitled, Man with Hat, Untitled, Portrait of Worker, Huey the Clown. What's the big difference there? And the big difference is that in many ways, we could say that De Erdely's anonymous, unspecific titles could only mean one thing, is that he used an individual to paint from, but his intent was every man or every woman, like here, portrait of girl combing hair. He could have given her a name, but it was significant that he chose not to. And it's not a shortcoming. It has more to do with the period in which he was painting than the person he was painting. When we look at mid-century figuration and uh, the effects that shaped it from social realism on the East and West Coast, and even social realism in Europe at that time, the concept of every man and every woman was a very, very real concept one that we believed in. I think today, one can't really do that. Today, we have a different concept of identity. Let's travel down here a little bit. Boy cutting bread. Huey the clown. 
the news seller, daily bread, they all suggest to me that the artist's intent was to say something about humankind. And when we consider the two world wars and the personal upheaval that he faced uh, and finally had to fled, uh, fled fascism for the U.S. in 1939, it's clear that his paintings were addressing something he wanted to say about humankind. 